I'm back, right where YouTube wants me, in a dark, dingy basement with bad lighting. I was locked out for almost two months. What did I do? I don't know. Nobody knows. I still have no idea why I was locked out, but one thing's for sure. I definitely am not going to talk about the You can't either. YouTube CEO even said anybody who says anything against the WHO, well, it's going to get removed. Video with doctors giving statistics? No way, can't have that. Um, anything that would go against World Health Organization recommendations would be a violation of our policy, and so remove is another really important part of our mm. policy. If you play along, the government will reward you, won't they? What convenient timing to be giving media outlets a truckload of taxpayer money. Something that isn't officially approved, and you get banned. Call everyone racist and tell everyone to come on down and party in Chinatown. Well, you're just Nancy Pelosi now, aren't you? Come to Chinatown. Uh, but we think it's very safe to be in Chinatown. All around the world, politicians are telling you to stay home, or else you're going to kill people. Don't be irresponsible. Be a good citizen. Call the cops on your neighbors if they're walking their dog or taking their kids to the park. Those bastards. Just kidding. It's okay if I go outside, not you. Normally, we'd be going to church with our neighbors, searching for Easter eggs with the kids, or sharing a special meal with family and friends. I know that for many Canadians, it won't be easy to celebrate Easter without being surrounded by our extended family or a larger group of loved ones. But we have to do it for the safety of all Canadians. A few moments later. Oh, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Not only did it take Prime Minister Trudeau just mere hours to be completely hypocritical, he didn't go back to work after, he just went right home. He's been there for two months. Do something. Maybe he's just setting a good example. If you're not working, he doesn't want to do it either. <laughs> Solidarity. <laughs> Bill de Blasio has something to say. Jewish community and all communities. It's this simple. Time Nothing for warnings is passed. I've instructed the NYPD to proceed immediately to summons or even arrest those who gather in large groups. This is about stopping this disease and saving lives. Period. Surely this means the great mayor of New York City wouldn't break the rules, would he? Come on. Seriously, you guys have a park. You live in the middle of a park. You don't need to not essentially travel to Brooklyn. Come on, you wouldn't even open roads for people of all backgrounds. CNN's toughest host definitely not named Fredo. Don't do it to me, Fredo. He's been filming from his basement, doing his shows the best he can, and warning people about the dangers of unnecessary travel and going outside. Unless you have a really good reason that's essential, like going for food, or performing emergency services, or telling your neighbors to f*** off. The way to stop it will always be the same. Our collective conscientious actions. Staying home. At that exact moment, while Chris Cuomo was demanding that America go inside and get back to their own homes, he wasn't taking the same advice. It turns out that at that moment, he was breaking quarantine himself, despite, as we said, being positive for the coronavirus. One day, Cuomo was spotted by a passing bicyclist who got into a tiff with him. Cuomo attacked the man later. Listen. I don't want some jack loser, fat tire biker um, to be able to pull over uh, and get in my face and in my space and talk to me. I don't want to hear it. I think it wasn't that bad. I think he had mild symptoms. Look, the dude went out. The guy left his home. He well, was not when he was talking about the the issues he was having. He was he seemed normal, right? I miss and really long for the days where we could trust politicians like the Obamas, for example. Michelle Obama did a great deed. She recorded a PSA and sent it out to people's voicemails, telling them that they shouldn't go outside, they shouldn't travel non-essentially, because it's important to stop the spread of the... Almost said it there. Warning them it's dangerous to go outside for non-essential travel. Well, I guess then Barack doesn't have a f phone because he went golfing. While other people are getting kicked off golf courses, being arrested for going to the park, or getting tickets for feeding homeless people, Politicians still not only get paid, but they're doing all the wonderful fun things that they tell everybody else not to do. Their lives have barely changed, all while telling you that you're a garbage human being if you don't care enough to just stay inside and shut up. If you guys don't want to deal with China and don't want to trade with China and let them take advantage of you, well, we're just going to bring China to you.